Someone mentioned earlier today that the medieval time that we reenact, or the time period we enact, was very religious. And although most of the people could read, the clergy of whatever group would explain things. And they very often liked to know about the creation and also about the birth of Jesus, depending upon which religion. And this didn't fit, so <laughs> I'm doing it here. James Weldon Johnson, a black minister from the South, wrote a poem called The Creation, which he envisioned a black minister explaining to his congregation. And I think, well, I like it. And God stepped out on space and looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could tell, darkness covered everything, blacker than a hundred midnights down in the cypress swamps. And then God smiled, and the light broke. And the light was on his right hand, and the darkness curled around the left. And he reached the light and rolled it in his hands into the sun and put the sun blazing in the heavens. And then with some of the light that was left, he rolled it into a ball and flung it into the darkness, spreading the night with the moon and stars. And he looked, and the light was on his right hand, the darkness was on his left. And then he hurled the world between the darkness and the light. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down with his moon, his stars, stars clustered around his, his head and the sun on his right hand. And where he trod, his footsteps bulged the mountains up and hollowed out the valleys. And he found that the earth was hot and barren. So he stepped to the edge and spat out the seven seas. And then he bat his eyes, and the lightning clashed, clapped his hands, and thunder rolled, and the cooling waters came down. The water ran down to the this river and to the ocean, to sea, and a rainbow curled around his shoulder. And the green grass grew, and the riddle, little red flower bloomed. The pine tree pointed his finger to the sky, and the oak spread out his arms. And God said, that's good. Then God raised his hand and said, bring forth, bring forth. And quicker than God could lower his arm, fishes and fowl and beasts and birds swam the rivers and climbed the, the, the mountains, and birds split the air with their wings. And then God looked around at all that he had made. He looked at his sun, he looked at his moon and little stars, he looked at his world and all of its living things. And he said, I'm lonely still. So God walked to a hill and set himself down by the side of a great river. And he put his head in his hands and he thought, and he thought, he thought, I'll make me a man. And down from the bank of the river, he had a lump of clay and he put it into the, the dust. And then this great God Almighty, who created the heavens and the earth and all the living things on it, this great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, toiled over a lump of clay, forming it into his own image. And into it, he blew the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Amen. Amen.